tree. Thank you. Yours, Stacy Jones. Well, it's good to see you again, Stacy. <laughs> oh, have we met before? Oh, many times. You probably don't remember. No, I knew you when you were just a little girl. Oh. Your grandmother ran this station. <laughs> yes. You used to have a doll named Betsy. Yes, <laughs> Betsy. Yeah. I forgot all about her. You carried Betsy everywhere you went. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't remember you. Oh, no, look, that body. No, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yes. Well, what brings you to Shining Time Station? I'm here to catch the Northern Star. The Northern Star? Yep. Oh, excuse me, Tucker. Do you know of a train called the Northern Star? Not on this line, I don't. Oh, excuse me, but... Are you sure you're at the right station? Oh, positive. Uh, I'll just wait over there until she arrives, if you don't mind. Hmm. I'll tell you, there's something strange about him. Maybe, but he really believes there's a train called the Northern Star. You know, maybe Mr. King scheduled the new train and didn't tell us about it. I'm going to call him. What if he hasn't? What are we going to do with Mr. Nicholas? I don't know. Maybe Mr. Nicholas doesn't have any place to go for the holidays. Hmm. No, Vicky, you can't come with me, honey. Look, I've got too much shopping to do. You'll be bored. Hi, Stacy. Oh, hi, Claire. I'm really grateful for this. Honey, now you remember Stacy Jones, don't you? She runs this station. Hi, Vicky. You remember this is Matt and Tanya. Okay. Remember, remember. Am I supposed to be a memory machine? No, no. Look, honey, have a nice time here and be a good girl, okay? Bye-bye. Thanks a lot for leaving me at a train station. Oh, M Mommy, I'll be back in a little while. Mm -hmm. She was supposed to go and sing with the calendars, and then at the last minute she changed her mind. She has such a lovely voice, B. Well, we never get to hear it anymore. Yeah. Stacy, thanks. <laughs> Bye. I like your sweater. This thing, my mother made it for me. I think I look stupid in it. What do you like to do for Christmas? I don't like Christmas. It's boring. The only fun part is getting presents. Vicky! Honey, how would you like to help decorate the tree? I don't care. You don't care? Well, then I'm going to put you right to work. Here are the decorations. There's the tree. Go for it. What is this supposed to be? That's Pudgy the snowman. I made him last year. This is a snowman? Be careful with that. You could have broken it. No big loss. Genius time. Genius time. Well, a festive job calls for a festive song. Okay, sing it for Schemer, baby. Yo! Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. helper. <laughs> Has a certain ring to it, don't you think? Miss Jones, 
Yes, sir. I'm afraid this snowstorm looks bad. If it gets any worse, we'll have to stop the trains. <gasps> I see most of the passengers have left already. What train is that gentleman over there waiting for? That's the man I called you about, Mr. King. He's waiting for a train called the Northern Star. I'll straighten this up. Okay. Excuse me, sir. There's no train called the Northern Star that stops here or anywhere else on the Indian Valley Railroad. Well, I'll take my chances. Northern Star has never been late yet. I wouldn't be too sure of that if I were you. Oh, I'm sure of it. Just like I'm sure that when you were a little boy, you collected ships inside of bottles. Well, how big? <laughs> I bet you, I bet you line them all up on a shelf in your bedroom, huh? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, they were beauties, those ships. Sure were. <laughs> I wonder whatever happened to them. Ah, Mr. J.B. King, Esquire, exalted head of the Indian Valley Railroad. My favorite. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? What is it, Schemer? Well, I uh, understand that you were on the committee that's going to pick Santa's helper for the holiday pageant. That is correct, Miss. Well, then I feel it is my duty to inform you about some flaws in my opponent's character. Flaws in Miss Jones's character? Did you know that she trains rats? She trains rats? Why? Why? Uh, to steal cheese. To steal cheese because she's so fond of cheese sandwiches. Yes. Uh, now, that's something to be considering when you're voting on who should be Santa's helper. After all, do you want a, uh, a rat-training cheese thief? Or somebody who's honest and wholesome and good and cute? Someone like uh, me, for instance. <laughs> Santa's helper? That's a very responsible position. And I'm the one to fill it. Miss Jones. Yes, sir. I have some extremely urgent business to take care of. Keep an eye on that passenger over there until I get back. Yes, sir. Hey, you don't do it like that. Maybe you don't. But I do. Vicky, just quit it. Why don't you do something else? Yeah, why don't you just go away? What's wrong, Vicky? Oh, don't get me that bad, can it? Well, can it? They don't want to play with me. Oh, I see. Well, must be other children for you to play with, huh? I don't play much with other kids. They always want to play some silly games. Oh, well, what's wrong with playing silly games? Some of the best games in the world are silly games. Of course, uh, you can't play silly games unless you know how to laugh. <laughs> Like that. Why are you doing that? I was just trying to see if I could do that. How do you do that with your mouth? Don't make it turn down like that. Is this it? Hmm? <laughs> I thought it was right. About what? You do have a smile. I don't. Yes, you do. You just did one. Uh, pretty one, too. What makes you think you don't have a smile? People tell you that? No, I just don't smile. Well, of course you you got to have a good reason. When was the last time you had a good reason to smile, huh? I bet I know. Last Christmas, when you saw Santa Claus. No one ever sees the real Santa. Oh, are you sure? I'd give anything to see Santa. Would you give a smile? What? Huh? Huh? 